in Mexico City and uh, Argentina relying on the side which drew with Italy no changes despite the fact that one of their players number two uh, Sergio Batista had said that he actually wanted to go home he's a little bit homesick and didn't fancy staying out here any longer the manager has persuaded him to stay he takes his place in this unchanged lineup led of course by the one and only Diego Maradona Jorge Valdano, scorer of two goals in the first game against South Korea, will be the man to watch, I'm sure. The two countries have only met previously once, that's in 1962 in the World Cup Finals in Chile. There is Ricardo Giusti, and this is the Bulgarian lineup, and they have made one or two changes, in fact, rather surprisingly, from the side which drew with South Korea. The defence is very much uh, a similar situation, but number eight, Sadkov, here will do the marking job on Maradona. So what a task he's got ahead of him. Number six, Yeli Askov has been brought into the side, and so has Jordanov there, number 15, for only his second cap. And it looks as though the Bulgarian tactics might be vastly different to those employed in the first two matches, with Getov, who scored the goal against South Korea, having a job up front instead of in midfield. The Bulgarians have never won a match in the World Cup Finals in 14 starts. So that's something of a record to overcome. The officials, all from South America, the referee, Bernie Ulloa, from Costa Rica. His two linesmen are from Brazil and Uruguay. Jose Martinez there. Romualdo Arpi Filio from Brazil and there's a good crowd here in the Olympic Stadium and the Argentine supporters in particular are in good voice the Bulgarians do have quite a few supporters here we watched the match against South Korea in this uh, same stadium and the Bulgarian supporters made their presence felt as well Bulgaria will kick off and their manager while acknowledging that his country had little hope of uh, winning the World Cup didn't believe that his team would do quite well out here so far they've drawn with Italy and drawn with South Korea so Bulgaria lose possession immediately this is the big fellow Batista leaves it for Maradona who plays a nice little one too Maradona the first time he's in the thick of the action he's also biting the turf hardly a strange sight Burichaga for Maradona this time not a good ball and pass back is just long enough for Mikhailov Bulgaria playing in a change strip of red shirts and green shorts. Argentina are stuck with their familiar light blue and white stripes and black shorts. Markov has uh, lost possession. It's uh, taken Argentina some time to capitalise, so they build slowly with Valdano down the right. This is Giusti brought down well, I think there might well be quite a few free kicks in this match this is a little bit more interesting but possession lost there uh, by Borghi a nice little ball inside for Burichardo who slipped past uh, the first challenge and that's going to be hopelessly wide for a goal kick Markov 
for Bulgaria. He loses it to, to Maradona, but uh, a fortunate ricochet allows the Bulgarians to keep control. Yeliaskov, one of the first brought into the side by the manager Butsov. Gets off trying to get the little knock down. Argentine defenders can't quite do so. Rachaga thinks better of the pass back. He was wisely advised to do so. Is Yordanov who just uh, had a sample of his shooting power? Big strong defender.
Maradon is making a break down the middle. The ball cut out by Yeliaskov. Now, a little bit of a break on here. And the chance uh, for Markov to set something up, but uh, not a very good cross for Gladinov and the goal kick. Valdano sends the little fellow Maradona away. He might well get inside the penalty area here. Maradona, he's got the cross back to and Dimitrov does the only sensible thing left and concedes a corner. Argentina and they've got half a dozen big fellas up there in the penalty area it went beyond the wall but, uh, nice play by Buruchaga there there'll be an offside flag on that far side Side, get off was offside as it happened. The ball almost bisecting the centre of the Argentine defence there. Batista, nice ball forward for Burushaga. That was an important tackle, that. With Gary making uh, ground on the left touch line. 
Nice play here by Sirikov for Bulgaria. He's come a long way there, Sirikov. And he's brought down in the end. Sirikov played as well as anybody in the uh, Bulgarian team over here in the previous two games. The first opportunity, really, that Bulgaria have had uh, to put any pressure on the Argentine goal. We saw one tremendous shot from Georgi Jordanov. Uh, he's going to leave it this time for Getoff, and here is Jordanov. Borgli who got in the way. That's not a pass at uh, number six. Andrei Yeliaskov will be particularly proud of. minutes gone it's Argentina one Bulgaria nil Aldano playing some nice football but, uh, that pass I think uh, might be a little too long for Kuchofo choose to square this one to Jordanov. Might even try and bend it around that wall himself. Complaining that the wall is too close, the Costa Rican referee agrees with him. They can of course book players for advancing from the wall, as we've seen already. Get off does drive it against the wall and there will be an offside I think yes. glad enough it's straight just too far ahead side now to try and help out so far the 
the Bulgarian attacks have been snuffed out with consummate ease by Argentina. Gusti. Markov. Side to Yodanov. Gets it back from Mladenov. Dimitrov. He's left it for Sirakov, who's already shown his dribbling skills. And again, made good ground, Sirakov. The danger is when he goes on those runs, they could be exposed if the Argentine side breaks quickly. Here's Maradona. Little seen of him so far, but a lovely bit of ball skill there from Maradona. And the weight on that pass was so delicate it was really uh, very clever indeed here's Maradona again oh and a brilliant piece of skill inside the box there enabling Paldano to get in another shot Support, Sirakov there, nodding it down. But, uh, even the battling of uh, Flamin Markov can't keep possession. And the leisurely pace of uh, Maradona almost opened the way.
Ricci.
Jotin off. Again, the ball too long. Free kick given anyway.
courteously put out of play by Batista so the treatment can be administered to Markov the Bulgarian down on the ground stretcher bearers have been called for it remains to be seen whether it's required I think he might be back on his feet even if he's going to be dragged up Again, the throwing by Sadkoff, he threw it straight to an Argentine player. Argentina 1, Bulgaria 0. With about 13 minutes of the half left, this will be offside. Ambulance men 
to get to the ball. Argentina still in possession, but they've come a long way back. Now Maradona comes forward. Might well run at the ball here. Oh, he's got such good skill inside the penalty area. Maradona, brilliant. Can't quite cut it back beyond Mikhailov. That really showed the dribbling skills of the little fella. decided it was just outside the area nobody on the Bulgaria side protested at the decision and claimed a penalty Jordanov hobbles off the pitch by the way obviously in need of attention get off tries to think of a way through the Argentina defence floats it in could have been very dangerous that and that's a hopeless effort at the end of it all from Sapkov good enough free kick they couldn't quite get in there above uh, Ruggeri and Sadkov really made a hash of the shot Yordanov is back on the pitch so still no substitutions and around uh, about six and a half minutes of the first half remain Picking it up and finding Valdano. And, uh, that's going to be a free kick for the challenge on Valdano. Didn't see a great deal wrong with it myself, but uh, the referee did. And really, all that there has been to admire in this first half has been Maradona, so deft. Valdano's pace, perhaps, for Argentina some useful work by Jordanov for Bulgaria otherwise it's been pretty timid well, Argentina have a free kick here there's danger to the Bulgarian goal it's Jordanov who gets it away inside the penalty area it's away by Dimitrov only as far as Borgi still Borgi on his far side Ruggeri gets up well and a chance or oh, spectacular overhead kick and clearance by Markov by Markov and Argentina will be content I'm sure to try and keep possession for the last four minutes of the half 
hardly varied their tactics. Maradona now spins away from two challenges, keeps going. Ray, brilliant skill. My Maradona can finish this one. Oh, that would have been a marvellous goal. Maradona skipping past those challenges, showing terrific control and uh, almost had a shot to finish it with as well. It's so difficult to knock off the ball with that uh, low centre of gravity, the shot skidding wide. Charger for Borgi, who a uh, good little feint there, opened up the way for Borgi. Valdano did well for him then. Argentina 1, Bulgaria 0.
second half in the Olympic Stadium underway and Argentina have made two substitutions Bulgaria haven't made any the two players who've gone off are Kutsufo who was booked in the first half and Borghi the two substitutes on as they've been in the other uh, games Olatia Kachia and Enrique second half, free kick uh, for Argentina floated over towards the penalty spot Bulgaria managing to uh, get it away and a little bit there throw in the ball came off Gary Lines going to raise this flag there. The referee ignored him. Dreadful pass giving the ball away. Oh, and almost a mistake there by Yeliaskov.
Petrov for Bulgaria. They really do have to show a bit more ambition in the second half, Bulgaria, if they're going to produce anything here. They're in possession on the far side of the field with uh, Markov. There's the cross, it was for Sirakov, who managed to get his head to it, couldn't direct the uh, header. Valdano picks it up for Argentina. Bulgaria have been trying to get their substitute on for almost a minute now. Argentina out. They have to slow it down once again here. And, uh, eventually, the very poor pass there from Yodinov gave Markov no chance whatsoever. Still, the Bulgarians can't get their substitute on because the referee persists in looking to the opposite side of the pitch. But now, Alaski does turn round and Mladenov will be replaced by Wojciko Velichikov coming on for his first game in these World Cup finals. Velichikov for Mladenov and Mladenov is an out-and-out -out striker so Bulgaria continue to show very little enterprise here taking a striker off and they desperately need to score a goal to get a point to qualify for the next phase. Two points surely won't be able to see them through. Never know, but uh, doubtful. And again, the crowd booing Ruggeri, unable to keep the ball in play. Well, the most disappointing encounter this one so far. Jaga. Nobody seems able to keep possession for very long in this uh, half. Now at long last, somebody does stretch his legs. Dimitrov. Petrov out on the right-hand side. What a dreadful pass by Petrov. Straight to the foot of Alatia Kachia. If Bulgaria keep uh, passing the ball like that, there's no danger that they'll get a goal back. Alatia Kuchia. by Petrov, who holds his hands up, acknowledges his misdemeanor. Argentina then with a free kick, and as you see, just inside the Bulgarian half. As yet, Argentina have hardly had an attack in this uh, second half. Content again to play the short ball, which is given away by Borussia. Desperately need a Bulgarian goal to bring this game to life, I can tell you. Valdano will make a break and he'll be offside. Valdano, one of the few players on the field who Looks as though he really wants to be bothered about scoring further goals. A bit more urgency about the Bulgarian attack here. So cut out by Bulgari. Petrov. 
return which never came from Jordanov instead the play switched Sadkov and now Markov Sadkov played very very deep Dimitrov comes forward and uh, finds a colleague on the edge of the box gets off inside Sirikov here control let them down again so Argentina bring it away but it'll be interesting to see if they uh, attempt to break quickly or slow it down once again which is what Gioffo has done Sirikov by the way is still lying just outside the penalty area the other end of the pitch and Argentina surely ought to try and uh, get something here because they're forming up in the attack and that's a very poor cross play then to Sirikov Mr. Ulyar has to come all the way back we normally go over by manager delivery driver by train the stretcher is on for Sirikov and it looks as though he might go off on it as well this time yes he's being put on to the uh, stretcher I think Sirikov the man who scored that late goal against Italy in the opening match in the Aztec Stadium some ten days ago that now they're going to dispense again with the stretcher see if it drops up it's going to be okay Gio 
Liverpool. Back to Alagi Kajia. Now Valdano, who this time can't get away from uh, Yeliaskov. And if the crowd does cheer here, it'll probably be because they'll hear of the South Korean goal against Italy. It won't be for anything that's happening in front of them at the moment. Argentina have the ball. And you do wish that they'd show a little bit more ambition to get a second goal. And indeed that Bulgaria would show some uh, to get the first goal. Goal kick. got it through to Valdano now let's see if uh, they can produce something here Gary just outside the Bulgarian penalty area gets the cross in Valdano splendid effort again good header deserved the second goal it all started with Valdano's pace and ability to get the ball through for Gary and Valdano nearly finished it as well Chances here as Valdano almost got there ahead of Petrov. Eliasko. Good ball through Sirikov, who seems fit again. This play a very good ball. Everybody seems 
was uh, content to waste a bit of time down there. Garay will now take the throw. Latia Kachir here. Bit of invention now, but a charger. Dimitrov, Yeliasko, well, Argentina may finish top of their group, but they've not impressed uh, particularly here today. There hasn't been much rhythm about their game. They beat South Korea here by three goals to one. They drew 1-1 one -one with Italy. They lead Bulgaria by a goal to nil. But they will have convinced no one particularly here that they can uh, go a long way in this competition. for Bulgaria to attempt something to uh, get themselves back into this game but they seem dreadfully lacking in spark and inspiration Dimitrov and every time they get the ball Argentina slam the clamp on them and they're quite content just to sort of keep possession for as long as they can and now Maradona's offside of Sirikov in time for the free kick. taken and it almost bounced over Pompidou but uh, really it wasn't well played at all never anywhere near a Bulgarian player Gavin 
Amazing. Short ball of Baldano brought down from behind. Right substitute. Maradona sets off amazingly, feeds the ball through, and although the ball is cracked into the net, it won't count. Valdano offside. There was a lot to admire about Maradona's pass. It really was a beauty. Look at that, and uh, there you see that indeed Valdano was offside. Here's Dravkov. Sadkov. one back now and now all except the Bulgarian goal uh, keeper Mikolov are at the other half of the field Stravkov for Bulgaria just outside the Argentine penalty area well it was spectacular all right didn't mean much There's a Bulgarian player down, and that is Yodanov. Not overhead kick, but uh, let's watch Argentina and hope that they uh, might bring the game back to life. Here's Valdano, chesting it back to Maradona, who floats it back, and is he offside? Well, it's uh, going to be a goal kick anyway. Alatia Kachia. And there you see that uh, poor old... Yordanov has just about twisted himself into, I think, that uh, overhead kick, and he's going to have to hobble off. So Bulgaria, a goal down, that might be down to ten men as well. But they've got the ball with Getoff, and they've lost it. Both substitutes have already been used. Bulgaria now are in something of a disarray and having problems. Their goalkeeper is down at one end of the pitch. <laughs> There's three players, in fact, off the pitch at the moment. I think that uh, Yordanov, who might uh, have twisted something, is about to come back on. Mikolov has got a very sore head indeed after that uh, challenge by Valdano. And also off the pitch is uh, another of the Bulgarian defenders, I think it's Yeliaskov. So there could be real trouble here for Bulgaria. The three players went up together in the challenge. Now Yeliaskov's all right. It's uh, Dimitrov there. Bulgaria can ill afford to uh, have their goalkeeper off. They've already used their two substitutes, Velichkov and Stravkov. The scoreline, Argentina 1, Bulgaria 0. And uh, I think the goalkeeper is probably going to be all right. He'll need a few sniffing salts, though. Certainly a bit shaken. 
get the feeling it's not Bulgaria's day. bouncer by imagine after all that and Bulgaria have their full quota again they is there any way Bulgaria can fight themselves back into this game they've not shown many signs of being able to do so Maradona is making a charge down the left uh, touch line and he's skipped round the Eliaskov beautifully. And if he can get a good cross in here, that must surely be a second goal! Burichaga scores for Argentina. Brilliantly laid on by Maradona who milks the applause of the crowd. But this was a glorious cross from the Argentine captain and a splendid finish from Burichaga. Bulgaria are dead now. Maradona, one of the few players who's threatened in this game, and Burakchaga, who's also played splendidly, scores the goal. It gives us a scoreline of Argentina 2, Bulgaria 0, and surely means that Argentina are going to head their group. And we'll go to Puebla to play one of the third-place teams from the other groups. brought the game a little bit to life we certainly needed it Brown nodded away but Bulgaria coming forward here oh if that ball had got through to Stravkov we could well have had a much better game in our hands surely now Bulgaria must try and do something and they've got a chance here as well get off just outside the area tries to get inside and in the end the ball is nicked away for a corner kick by Ruggeri for the first time in the match, Bulgaria suddenly seems to have realised that they've got to come to life if they've got if, uh, they're to get anything from the game. Their tactics have been very difficult to fathom. Two down, Bulgaria have a corner. It's short to Stravkov. Plenty of men up in the penalty area. Stravkov. Surely must try and clip it in there. Yodinov. Back now to Markov. Four cross. It's going to give Maradona the chance to break. Lovely little back heel. That's not a good pass though. Sadkov picks it. Hooked away in the end by Brown. Thankfully the game was at uh, long last come uh, to a little bit of life but there's not long left in the game for Bulgaria to do much about it. Yodinov. Spectacular fall, and it didn't impress the referee. Aldano, who is clipped from behind there by Yeliaskov. Willem McNeil is frantically trying to work out how this might help Scotland. The news as well that Italy are now leading South Korea by three goals to one. Means that uh, Argentina surely are going to finish top of their group with Italy's second. that in the closing 12 or 13 minutes we shall see attempts at both ends of goal scoring there have been so few in this match I think we deserve something a little better for the last uh, few minutes
Buruchaga does well to get away from Getoff. He's had a very good game, Buruchaga, apart from scoring that second goal. Eventually fell foul of the tackle by Yeliasko. Now Getoff. It's not an instruction, by the way. That's the name of the Bulgarian number 11. Away this time. The way went Enrique. Now Maradona. Alatia Kachia. It's a big gary out here. Need to just uh, check and come back for the ball though. Problems there for Ruggeri. Shout to Argentina, go up from behind us, accompanied by drums, whistles, and the usual dongs. But uh, this won't go down as one of their more polished performances. The Bulgarians still got so many men back when Argentina have the ball they can't break uh, quickly or effectively so once more they favour the slow builder Gary goes on the overlap and if he can yes he'll keep the ball in it was a lovely little ball back from Burashaga two men have made the break inside the middle and it was Maradona going in, Mikhailov who just got there and got an important touch. Burchaga once more, this time he's lost the ball. The way really to Stravkov. Quite awful fast forward. So Bulgaria's dismal record in the World Cup is going to continue. They've never won a match in the finals in 15 games. They trail here 2-0 in the Olympic Stadium. Maradona knocks his own man off the ball there to uh, keep possession. Now finds a lot of Kachia. I do believe they're going to bring it all the way back. Brown boosts it about 70 yards out of play. Well, the crowd here is desperate for Bulgaria to try and get back into this game. If they could just get a goal, it would uh, really set us up for the last five minutes. But, uh, be impossible. Markov. And that's a lovely ball, one of the best balls of the game played out here to Petrov. And he's just about got past his uh, man as well. Played it straight across the edge of the area. And Enrique takes it up. goal in each half is going to be sufficient for Argentina here to qualify for the second phase at the top of their group. Perhaps a free kick, surely. So, I wonder, can Bulgaria at last uh, give us something to cheer about here? There's not been a great deal to admire in their performance. But they do have a free kick in a dangerous area. Pompido must have forgotten what it's like to save a shot. Uh, 
five yards away to me. I think the referee is treating them uh, to come back a little bit further. Every Argentina player is behind the ball. And gets off, flicks it in and wide. He's a very useful exponent of free kicks. Flamman gets off. But he couldn't quite uh, get the angle right there. It's a good try, though. The second half uh, kicked off a little bit late. I would imagine with about uh, three or four minutes left to play. Get off. It's done well this time. Still got the ball as well. Get off. Now Burchaga, scorer of the second Argentine goal. And out wide right is Valdano. Maradona is in the middle. And if the cross is a good one, there could be a third goal here. We'll be back in the end of no problem. run but there's only Valdano inside the penalty area just outside it is Burachaga who let it go Bulgaria don't bother to chase it so Gary picks it up Valdano wanted it on the far side of the area Burachaga tries to get it through for Maradona and Burachaga close to a third goal nice little piece of interplay with uh, Maradona setting him up there and Burachaga's shot is uh, just off the target. So Bulgaria are going to end it with two points in their group. Argentina will end it with five points, which will be sufficient to put them on top as the winners of this section with Italy in second place Bulgaria third and if South Korea are beaten by Italy then they'll finish at the bottom of the group but they've made a, a valiant effort out here South Korea and have been much admired for their approach to the game Somehow symptomatic of the entire game, that. Strafkov hacks it towards the edge of the Argentine penalty area. Right to four here for Markov. Yordanov. Twisting, turning, trying to find any sort of opening. Oh, Maradona. Free kick to Argentina as Paradona is bundled off the ball. The referee again looking at his uh, watch. Uh, to be honest, the whistle here will be quite merciful for most spectators in the crowd. It's been a most disappointing game. Partly because Argentina scored so early in the game and were then content to just sit back and defend that uh, lead. They've protected it so well, but they've only added to it with one further goal. And indeed, the referee raises his hand for the end of a disappointing match here in the Olympic Stadium. 
Argentina run out winners by two goals to nil. Jorge Valdano getting the first goal after only three minutes. And Jorge Borrachaga scoring after a magnificent cross from Diego Maradona for the second goal. Argentina win Group A and Italy, we understand, will be the runners-up in Group A and that they will now play France here in the Olympic Stadium in the next round. Argentina go through.